in this video i'll be talking on color mode and how to get your designs print ready and we start right now what is happening this is dennis if you are new here and you want to learn how to make creative design using photoshop and corel draw start by clicking the subscribe button and hit on the bell so you won't miss any video color space refers to the color mode and artwork is provided in 72 ppi is synonymous to digital artwork and rgb is also synonymous to digital artwork as well rgb is the abbreviation of red green and blue which are the primary colors of light do you know the color you will get if you add red, green and blue together? It's white, which is why this color space is always referred to as additive color, since adding all the colors will produce white. Your device screen, that is your laptop, phone and others, works with light. So it won't make sense if you use a color space that also works with light. That is to say, anytime you design a job that will not be printed and it only ends on screen, RGB color mode will be best for it. RGB is best for designs that will end up in a screen. Since 72 ppi is synonymous to RGB, so then 300 ppi is synonymous to CMYK, which is a color mode used for prints. What is ppi? ppi means pixels per inch. However, CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and it's a subtractive color mode. Since mixing color pigments will give you black, you may ask why is black referred to as K? It is because black is known as the key color. The printing press recommends black to be added to make your printed image to be more vibrant with more contrast. And that is why ink cartridges are produced in these colors. If all of this still confuse you, just know that RGB is the color space you will save your digital artwork, while CMYK is the color space you will save your printed artwork. What if I print my files in RGB color space? Wow, your colors will be distorted and will not look exactly as what you originally designed with your computer. If such design is sent for color separation, all your colors will fall four times day by making your print to look bad if you do not understand this before going into design and print it may cost you a lot of money and waste of time so be careful when working with color space or color mode so how do you select your color mode in corel draw and photoshop Welcome back. I would like to talk on getting your files prints ready. First, we discuss on color mode, which is the first step when getting your design print ready. Before taking your design to a printer for print, ensure your design has bleed and crop marks added to it. A bleed or trim marks in design terms refers to parts of your design that exceeds or goes beyond the edge of your sheet. Just as highlighted on this example, the term bleed is difficult to understand if you do not have practical experience in it but i will try to explain you should know the printing press do not use the small laser jet printer which many people use at home or office they use a large printing machine like the offset machine which prints in large sheets of papers which after print it will be moved to the gluten machine which the print will be cut to small pieces of your design if your design was not properly set your design will be cut wrongly your your bleed should be at least 3 millimeters away from your design edge, just as you can see in this example. 
cut line indicates the print area of your design which is the edge of your design not the edge of your artwork it is indicated here with dotted lines crop marks are black lines that indicate where your page will be printed to avoid cutting out important parts of your design and lastly your margin is very important which is the first thing you should take note of when starting a design create margins where your text will end and will never exceed that margin other elements of your design can exceed but your text needs to be guarded it is indicated here with green dotted lines margin here is your safe area for design that should not be cut off this will lead us to another heading which I would like to talk about. It's known as the works every time layout. This is a great technique that will lead you in almost any kind of design. Why is it called the works every time layout? It is because it works every time. It was gotten from part of the book called White Space is Not Your Enemy. The works every time layout can be divided into six steps and these steps can be followed in almost any time of design since we read from left to right and top to bottom this layout has been a great success the first step is called margin start your design by creating a margin which will be a guide for all elements that should not be cut off looking at this design you will see that the typography is really far away from the edge of the design the next one is columns. The amount of columns depend on the size of your layout. It helps to create the illusion of reading less. Just as seen on this design, it makes the text to look less to the eye. Columns are great ways to retain your viewer's attention. Always try to make your columns between 15 to 12 centimeters wide. This is the standard for most columns. Step 3 is visual. Have your visual at the top of your layout. You should just have a way to attract your audience just like the picture above the design. Step 4, headline. The headline is the topic of your document. It should be right under the visual. It should be bold and exciting. This is the second element your viewers will see after your visual. Step 5, body copy. This refers to the text that will fill your document. Your body copy can be placed in the column guide you created in step 2. And lastly, tags. These are additional information like logos and contacts placed at the bottom of your document. We will see examples of different jobs where the works every time layout are obeyed. On the first example, the design has enough margins on each side of the document. The text here is divided into two columns. Visual is placed at the top of this design. The headline in this example slightly overlaps the visual. The body the copy is placed in the two columns as created in step two and the last step the tag just as seen at the bottom of this document thanks so much for watching this video see you next time and bye